Hey guys, how you doing? Want to give you guys a quick tour of the Deep Blue 35 Gallon Cube, January 2017. As you guys know, um, this cube has been set up for a different purpose, just for my room. And on December, my 55 gallon, which was my main display at the house, the center brace broke. And I had to swap everything from the 55 to this one. So five weeks has passed. The update from then to now. As you can see, everything is doing fine. I had a little spike from the rush of the swap. I've lost a Fagia plate and my maroon clown. Other than that, I don't see anything else. Parameters are good. Filtration is doing good. And overall, the tank is doing great for just five weeks. Um, I've been getting a lot of support from you guys and I really appreciate it. You guys giving me tips, you guys giving me advice um, because I don't know much about any size cubes and this is my first. And so far, you know, I'm learning pretty well. I'm taking over it and as I've said in previous videos I understand why people now like cube tanks the depth you get is great and you can actually put out some nice details to them which is fabulous now as you can see there's different angles and I'm going to divide by sections so you can see certain sections within the tank and how I place my coils and as you can see I have nice flow just from the return pump and a power head that's behind the rock work and it's doing pretty good now, as you can see the purple plum um, loves high flow it would not extend polyps without high flow. Everything else in this section is doing great. In this section, the GSP is growing great. Um, that Zoa right there, if I recall, I, when I bought it, it was only maybe six heads. Now it's covered in entire rock. Uh, the Trachophilia, which I call the beast, doing great and this section right here I have uh, this yellow scroll coil I have the subtle cloth and uh, green hairy rodactus with frog spawn and they seem to do pretty well there the summer coral doesn't grow much but it's getting a lot more bumps which I think is good. This section over here, as you can see, I have button polyps or green polyps with the devil's hand, uh, pink personal pore, the mint promoter, the red plenty multi, purple candy canes, and my green, my green tip, and they all seem to be doing great there. So that's good. This section over here, as you can see, to the left, I have uh, teal candy canes, uh, some Duncan, pink pulsating zinnia, blue pavona, and a war core or fire core. They don't seem to mind the height, so I'm gonna leave them there. Um, as you can see now, I give you this view here as you can see the agitation of the surface of the water. And it's 
to me. I think that's well enough. I don't think I need any more. Like I said, there's plenty of flow in this tank with just the return pump and a power head. If I feel that I need more in the future, maybe I'll place another. But for now, everything is good. As you can see here, this is uh, part of the return. And, uh, you know, this cube came with everything it needed all the plumbing it needed and it was ready to go just uh, plug and play really I didn't have any issues with um, attaching any anything to the return or to the filtration itself now here is uh, my chalo which only have I had a tumbling effect on my chalo in this particular sump um, this sump is nothing special, it's just a BOI 20 gallon height and I had another 20 gallon high and it broke on me and I used the glass baffles and I just divided this sump. Now if I recall, if I remember the left baffle is 15 inches high and the right baffle it's only 12 and a half inches high. So based on the height of the water that comes out from the 15 and a half inch high baffle, that water force coming straight down onto the wall of that baffle is creating a turbulence. As you can also see evidence from the mineral mine that it's, uh, it's low on the left side and it's high on the right side. So that's evidence of how this tumbling is taking effect. Now, I've never had any issues growing my chato, but with this tumbling effect, I've noticed now for the second time that I've pruned it, I get a lot more growth. And to me, that's a win-win. Um, all I have is a ABI R38, category full on it and it's just blue and white no red no nothing uh, this is the filtration my aqua Seymour pro s it is very silent i cannot complain about this at all um, as you can see i put in flashlights you can see the bubbles inside of the dark acrylic and there's quite a bit of you know turbulence in there a lot of bubbles in that skimmer. I've heard a lot of reviews about the skimmer not being totally functional. This skimmer has worked for me since day one. I cannot complain about it whatsoever. Um, I did have it on the 55, but then I got the sump for the 55, and then I got the uh, Reef Octopus. Uh, 110 and to be honest the performance wasn't that really much of a difference um, now you see I added just a, as a bottom of a water bottle and just to create like a neck and to be honest that's the only modification I've done to this skimmer per se and now it does skim a little wet but it's, it's darker than most that I've seen on YouTube it's not light it's actually a dark film um, and it gets a lot of debris out I, I, I don't have any complaints about this at all if it doesn't warm up the, uh, the water column from the pump this pump is actually pretty silent and it does its job. I really have no complaints and there's no outbreaks or nothing whatsoever. So it's doing its job perfectly. I would recommend it if you was to use it. Now this angle over here, I'm gonna give you a little insight. Uh, my T5 broke over the weekend 
and I had to rig this with um, the AVI PAR 38 bulbs that I actually bought for the 55. And I was running that prior to my Tidal Gardens purchase. And everything is growing with it so far. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that these lights cannot do sufficiently enough. Now, in my opinion, they do it just great. Um, for when I did the 55 swap to this cube, I placed my old T5, and uh, you know, I did see some response, a different response from the T5, and that's inevitable. They grow a lot quicker with T5, but I cannot complain of these lights at all. They do grow under these lights. And I only have six of them in total, five on top, and the same exact one in the sump. As you can see, I don't have many dead spots in terms of uh, lighting. It covers the entire cube just fine, those five bulbs. Um, so since my T5 ballast took a dump, you'll see where these holes will come up in these lights. And uh, it's laying actually on an extra glass baffle from that 20 gallon high that broke on me. So it's doing just fine with that too. Anyways guys, um, just to give you an update, I'm overall happy, the fish look happy, the corals look happy, the flow is good, the filtration is good. So far, I'm on point and that's successful all the way around. I do my weekly water changes, I do not dose my tank for three years or two and a half years per se. And I still use the Kent Marine Reef Salt Mix. That's all I do. Every Saturday, water change. I check my salinity. I do my testings. Everything seems fine. The alkalinity drops a little bit from Saturday to Saturday. So everything else is fine. But it's not something that I am really concerned about the opportunity. Any guys, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Check my previous videos. I have everything on a playlist. Take care, guys. Peace.